what's up everybody welcome back to shadow of the colossus uh today we are taking on hydrus uh which is one that i've mentioned in another let's play before actually yeah, yeah. um if you're if you've been on the channel for a very long time you will uh remember that i played uh titan souls way back in the day when that game first came out i've actually thought about getting the ps4 version and revisiting that because yeah. i love that game uh, there is a quote-unquote titan in that game that is reminiscent of this colossi. And I actually mentioned this colossus in uh, that Let's Play whenever we made it to that thing. And I, I honestly, I loved that boss fight in that game so much that uh, it almost brought me to tears. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is the right way. I know where this one is, actually. I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, God. Uh, because aggro yeah. Is, yeah. has the navigational yeah. skills of a fucking bat outside of a cave. Because I imagine a co-location doesn't work that well when there's no walls around. But yeah, just... Oh, God. I can't wait to see the end of this game. Because the ending cutscene is going to be something amazing in the new graphics and the new engine and stuff, because I know what happens. There's a shrine there. I'm going to stop off there and uh, murder a lizard, because there's nothing else to do in this game. Also, I didn't know they existed. I saw them when I was platinuming the PS3 version of this game. Uh, I want to say there are turtles around here. Yep, there it is. There's a turtle. Little turtle. Little tortoise. I don't know what he's doing. His head is, like, half buried in the ground. Yeah. I assume that's his head. Either that or he's making a lady tortoise very happy. Um, let's see. Where are you? There has to be one. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to check something after we do this as well. Let's see. Get up there. That off into this. You do have unlimited arrows, by the way. Um, for anybody who might be wondering why I waste an arrow. Uh, I don't want to hit the actual temple, because if I actually landed near where the lizard is without knowing the lizard's there, then uh, it could scare the lizard and I might never find it again. But then again, I might never find it in the first place because they're apparently like super international espionage spies. Um, wait, up there? No, no, no lizard. Right, I'm gonna give this thing like one more rotation and then I'm gonna give up because I have things to do and call outside a murder. But, uh, yeah, there should be a lizard somewhere. Ah, I see you. He's fucking hiding his tail inside the fucking environment, cheater. And for that one, you die. There we go. Got a tail. Now, I want to... I said I wanted to check something. I'm going to pray at this, and I want to see. Is in the uh, PS3 version, they showed up. Yeah, they do. All the save temples that you've saved at show up on the map. You can see them there in green. And then, like I said before, the Colossi all have faces on the map, and the clouds clear as you go, which I really enjoy. Uh, where, where, where's the horse? There you are. <laughs> All right, come on, aggro. Yeah. Aggro, yeah. aggro. So, in terms of this one, it can be really misleading in terms of the navigation. I always tend to get lost in the later Colossi because I just wind up not knowing where I'm going. But I learned again when I went back to the PS3 version after they announced this merge. Uh, I learned how to navigate the world a little bit better. And this one is literally just go straight back all the way and then turn. That's all you have to do. I want to say there's actually another shrine over here. I don't know if I should stop and get the lizard or not. <laughs> I'm really excited for the later Colossi, though. Like I said, I'm going to do eight right now, which we only have two left. This one and one more. 
and then uh, the second aid I'm going to do tomorrow, and then I will start putting out videos probably within the next day or two. Um, yeah, there is a shrine here. I'm going to get this looted. But some of the later ones excite me just to see what they look like. Hiding somewhere with your tail in the environment again? Is that a thing? You can climb these temples, but I don't want to climb it and scare the lizard off. Because then I'll just have to jump down there. Okay. I see you. I see you. Alright, you're not cheating, so... Uh, you can keep your life. I just want your tail. Oh, okay, fucker. Oh, all right. You know what? Fuck you. I was gonna let you live, but uh, you decided to be a prick. So, die in a fire. All right. Uh, now I'm gonna save here. I keep calling it save. It's not really save anymore. Like that used to open a menu and do a whole bunch of stuff, and now it's just kneel in front of it and let the fairy dust whirl around you for a minute and you're done. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. this yeah. is uh, one of the ones that can be really annoying as well. It's not terribly hard once you know what you're doing, but it, it can be pretty damn unforgiving at times. Yeah. All right, Agro. You stay here. This one is easily one of my favorite ones in terms of the uh, just the beauty of this Colossus is amazing. But uh, in terms of mechanics, it can be annoying, like I said. All right, let's. Uh, I don't want to fall off early. I want to go. I want to climb up. Climb up here. I want to see. I don't know if you can see it before you uh, jump in. Are you down there? Somewhere? Being all menacing and shit? So, is that a way in over there? No. I thought that was like a path. It'd be cool if there were multiple ways, but I don't see the Colossi, so cowabunga. There we go. I activated it. Oh, oh he looks different. <laughs> That's definitely a a much deeper orange for uh, the electricity. I like that a lot. Oh, the noise, man. They're so menacing now. Alright. I need to get on a perch here. I want to get a good shot here. Alright, so like I said, this guy, I've always had a little bit of trouble with him. Um... Because I, I, I seem to not be able to get him to notice me right away. Can I whistle while I'm in the water? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. I see, like, his eyes are still blue right now. I need to get him to notice me, which will make him turn orange, and then he'll come up and I can grab him. But that's easier said than done for me for some reason. I have seen videos on this Colossi done in like a matter of seconds okay there we go his eyes are orange now right. 
that shit hurts. Back away. And then... There we go. And so you kind of have to try and uh, avoid to get avoid getting shocked while at the same time trying to make sure you can grab onto his tail when the time comes. And this one can be difficult because he's always halfway in the water. No. Okay. I managed to grab on again. That was really weird. I like started swinging. Or swimming. Swinging? Alright. Let's see. There's only one weak spot on this guy, but there's a catch. Each of the little uh, electrocution things is a small weak spot. You can deactivate them as you go. And you have to basically take them on one at a time. In order to... Uh, So, like, just one stab will do it. But, like, I wouldn't have been able to hold on there because I would have been gotten electrocuted. I don't know what is happening right now. Alright, here we go. Alright. One more. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all three because I did waste a lot of time. He might go under. I think he's going under. Yeah. All right. So those those will stay deactivated permanently. But now, next time, I have to make it all the way to his head and deactivate that one and then attack his weak spot, which is on, like, the front of his head. But now I have to get him to notice me again, which is my biggest problem with this one. I don't know why, but I've always had issues with that. Where? Oh, it's over there. Jesus. I, I was really far away. Notice me. Notice me. There we go. He saw me. Alright, here we go. Hopefully, sometimes you can grab on a little bit early. I don't know exactly how to trigger it, if there's a way to actually do it. But sometimes his, like, middle section will be high enough in the water. I completely fucked that up. Alright. Good start. Even though it's not the start. As I said, I've always had trouble with this. I don't know why. And this is exactly what I meant by... Some of them can take minutes, some of them can take hours. The time trials are even worse because it's just restart, restart, restart. Alright, he saw me. Come at me, bro. I do have to say, you have a magnificent mustache. Got to get in line here. All right, I grabbed on that time, finally. I didn't fuck it up. Somehow I managed to swim out from underneath where his tail was last time. I don't know how I did that. Alright, that's cool. Now, now you're cheating. There we go. And you see, like, at this point he's going really slow. I seem to remember him swimming a lot faster in the PS3 version. So, 
Gotta be quick here, because we gotta get that first stab in at the very least. Alright, that didn't work. There we go. And that activates his uh, actual weak spot. And then he tries to drown me. I really don't want to spend another 10 minutes on you, dude. Alright. There we go. And we're getting there. Awesome. Alright, that is Hydrus down. Now, I'm actually, I'm, I'm gonna look this up to see if I'm normal normal if I'm correct uh, next is let's see here it is Kuromon I, I knew I knew it had Mon in it because it always reminds me of a Pokemon and once again I have to ask the question how do you pray at this one's corpse to redo it I don't understand how that works I might have to look up videos on that. I even at that. How do you how do you do the last one? Because the game ends after you beat the last Colossus. So like, how would you how would you do the last Colossus like that? I don't understand. That one took a little bit longer. Not terribly long by any means, but you can see what I mean in terms of that one. It, it was a little bit more uh, trial and error because I just had to keep trying. It wasn't just... Even though I know what I'm doing, it, it still has its challenges. So after Kuromon, uh, there should be an actual cutscene, because that'll be the halfway point. So, if you can't figure out what that one is, think about the things I've been collecting throughout this so far. I'll leave you with that until next time. I hope you're enjoying this series. I hope you're enjoying everything else that I'm putting out there. I love you all. Thank you all for watching. Ta-ta.